Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio space. Uh, not really my studio, but anyway, my living room, our dining room. Anyway, welcome. Uh, I just want to say hello to every one of you. Welcome, welcome to all my brand new subscribers. All of you came over from Instagram to check me out. Welcome. I hope you will come back again, not just today, but on other days. And I hope that you will subscribe so that you know when I have a video up. Today I have something a little different out of my normal genre, so please don't run away. Um, this is not what I normally do, but I do... Um, design team work or design work for a jewel design which is my daughter's um, Etsy shop she is a graphic designer and um, we share a shop together so anyway this is one of her beautiful digitals that I'll be sharing with you today and the project that I did with it before we get going I want to say a special hugs kisses and lots of love mwah, mwah, to all of my consistent followers who follow me and who watch and who comment basically hello my beautiful friends okay so thank you thank you it means the world to me right now again I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your kind condolences and kind words and love and prayers and and all of that goodness you guys have been getting me through a tough time things are okay so um, I have been doing quite a bit of crafting and this is one of the things I've been making. So I hope you'll hang out with me today while I share this uh, lovely kit with you and the project that I made and am making. Um, I'm going to be showing you, this is designed as a skinny digital and it's meant to be skinny. Um, I did cut it down a bit because when you fold it, it is about four and a quarter or four by uh, 11. So I made it um, a nine and a half. I made it envelope size because I wanted to use some envelopes as the cover. So I made it a bit shorter, but I could have done the whole 11 inches and that is super duper fun when you do it that way as well. So we'll just have a look at what um, this one is and what I'm doing with it. Now, I don't have a flip through for you because I am already working on it and I've cut it all up to holy heck, but you get a pretty good idea. Now, she is on Instagram, she has an Etsy shop, and if you want to see the full flip through of all the pages, she has a video out on her YouTube channel, which is a jewel design again, okay? So you can find her under all of that. Alrighty, so here's, I mean, I just have bits and pieces left from, these are the, um, some of the ephemera I'm going to be working with today because what I want to do is I want to, to fill this all up, um, with all these goodies. I want to fill the journal that I was making with some of these and I don't unfortunately have all of the digitals. I have a few of the pages. There's one of them. You can see how gorgeous these are. And these are meant to be folded like this and to use the full length of that. This one, see, just like this. And then what I did is I backed it. Um, that's a part of kit. I backed it with her Pretty Bubbles papers. So what I did is I backed the pages with these three. I think I've got all three. Yep, there they are, the three. So there's only four uh, digital pages and then the rest, uh, there were five um, ephemera pages. So. Um, that's what we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting these out because I'm going to be cutting them. I have, see, I backed them. I backed all the cards with some of her, one of her pages. And see, there's only, uh, four of the printed pages and then three of the bubble. I call them bubble pages. So, um, and that's, and then these aren't backed. Some of these aren't backed. So, um, I try to keep them sort of separate. So anyway, that's what we're going to be playing with today. I have this tall skinny journal I want to share with you. Uh, and I had to put that on there just to keep it because it's already getting kind of, um, it's got 17 pages in it. And I've added a journal tag and a little um, dictionary. It says special, the adjective is, it's an adjective and it's something out of the ordinary, which I thought that was beautiful. So there you go. I did use two envelopes that I just stuck together. So it was really easy. This is probably the easiest cover I've ever made. And that cover is thanks to Wendy at Wendy's Journal Adventure. 
And she just did a lovely video showing how to do that. I was gonna see if I have a couple envelopes just to show you what I did, but it seems like, uh, I'm not sure I have any that are exactly the same size in junk mail. Because I didn't use junk mail, I just used regular envelopes. And you could do it any size you want, of course. Absolutely, you can. I was looking for, in my stash here, a couple envelopes that might be the same size, so I could put them together to show you. But I really don't, you know what? Junk mail envelopes are not the same size, guys. You would think they are, but they absolutely are not. Isn't that weird? Oh, I guess that's why they're junk mail, huh? Well, basically all I did was I just took, and I just put the two, the two envelopes together like this. I just used two white ones from the Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar Store. So you just put them inside each other, glue them down, and there's your cover. And then all I did, which I thought was super duper easy, um, I learned this from Wendy years and years ago, years and years ago from Wendy's Journal Adventure. Um, all she does, and I love it, is she just takes it and puts it on, wraps it around the page, and it made the perfect covers. So it also gave it a lot of heft. So I did that on each one. I picked out my front and my back and wrapped it, okay? So that's a really simple way to do it. Um, and there you have the, the cover for this. I did add some, um, what I asked, cheesecloth, I think. No, it wasn't cheesecloth. Oh, uh, sackcloth. Uh, no, not sackcloth. What's it called? I don't know, a cloth. <laughs> I put some cloth on the spine after I stitched, um, before I stitched it together, then I stitched it, and then I placed the, the lace over it, glued the lace on. And I've added the cover there, all right? I mean, the little tag. And um, so here you have it. Oh, and I did cut it open at the top, and it does have tags, nice big journal tags. So from the kit, so I did put those in there, and I, I still have to add like a ribbon and decorate it a little bit. But there's one in the back as well because these are envelopes, so I did. She has beautiful tags to put in there, all right? And then before I sewed anything in, I added a belly band. And there was a little bit, there's this lovely cutout here that I added to the strip and put it on as a belly band. And I think that strip was the one I think I was hiding from you here a minute ago. Let me see if I have it. Hmm. Of course, I've probably hidden it really well now. I can't even find it. Let me see. <laughs> oh yeah, I took this. And I put it on here. Then I cut out the pumpkins that she had on one of the pages and I glued it on over that to give it some a little bit of heft. And then another one of the beautiful tags from her kit and I put it on there. Um, then I added a vintage uh, coffee dye toy doily and then I used this is one of the pages that I use folded in half. It's been I've got the back on there. I've got some book page some coffee dyed paper, and then I used some washi tape from chapter one um, papers. I, I, I used her, what she calls a washi tape, so that's what I'm calling it, right on the edge. And then I used uh, the September, because this is September right now, I used the September from Edith Holden, one of her book pages. And then I added some vintage, um, writing paper, it's very yellowy, which is nice. You have a pocket, when you fold it out, you can write on here, on here, on here. And when you fold it out, you could, you now have another pocket that you could put something in if you want, or you could just write on everything. But I thought it was fun. I mean, you can go, you can add that to that, or you can add another piece onto here, you know, to decorate, and we may do that. So we have another piece of the, uh, another book page, another one of the writing papers. Again, I folded it. This is another Edith Holden, which was from this month of September. Isn't that pretty? I thought it was perfect for the September. And the colors, I don't know if you noticed, but as I was doing these pages, if you look at this one, it matches this page. See, look at that, see the colors? So I tried to kind of make things that would look good together. Not identical because they're different companies that, that put these out, different designers. But then here, I thought that this looked really good with this. I thought it also looked great with this. So I used that on there. 
um, more book page, more writing paper. Again, it makes a pocket if you want to use it that way. Then there's this one. Now, I had to cut this little B off the top, which broke my heart. So I just cut it off, and my daughter said, glue it back on, Mom. And I'm like, oh, duh. So I put the B back on there. <laughs> and then this is from her other um, fall kit. I wanted a, a green page in here, and so I put that in there. I'm going to be decorating the back side of that. But... I chose this little piece of washi tape to go with this, and I thought it also looked lovely, you know, with the B page, so I thought that that would look good. Then we have one here, and um, this is from a garden book, Western garden book, and it says pumpkins, and so I put it next to the pumpkin piece right there. I thought that was adorable together. And then we have our center. I haven't done anything with that yet other than, you know, tie. I use kind of a yellowy string. I'll probably be putting charms on this. I have some pretty garden charms that I thought would look good with this. I think I have a little shovel or a bunny and a, not a bunny, but a, and, and maybe a little garden pail or something I'll put in there. I don't think I have any pumpkins. And then this was part of the garden book. Again, it's kind of a tuck. And you've got this picture here and this one here. I think they go nicely together. This is coffee dyed paper. This one folds out. This is a flip or a fold out. Again, I need to cover that or do something with it. I don't want it bright white. Lots and lots of writing space. Lots of writing space. Um, as you can see, again, you can use it as a tuck or a pocket. This I thought went nicely with that. Seeing how we've got our two together. I think they, they speak to each other very well. All right. And then we have an Edith Holden, and then we have another one of those pages. It's a flip out. You can, now you can add things to these flips. You can glue cards or pictures or whatever you want on there. I'm gonna see if I have something I can like demonstrate. I mean, this isn't the best, but you could glue that on there, you know, and then pull it out, you know. You could do that, or you could just tuck this in the pocket for more space. Isn't that pretty together? I love it. Um, and then, you know, you have another book page, which you can cover your book page. If you don't like what's on here, you could cover this. You could collage on it. You can write down this notes on this side because this is a nice big book, and this is vintage. All the books in here, are the books I used are all vintage, including Edith Holden. Um, then we have that one, then we have that one, and that one. Now, I chose this because it goes nicely, plays nicely with that. It's hard to see, but you have the green and the pinks and the oranges and the blues so that went with that I thought nicely get another book page this is a hidden paper clip that I took and cut out one of the pieces of um, and I've made a hidden paper clip out of that there's a paper clip in there and so I just made that a hidden paper clip to put on the top this was Jolene's suggestion um, I actually saw it as well but she said oh yeah you gotta try that and I'm like okay I will for sure so I put that on there. Again, we have our doily. It looks nice with that page. Um, you know, because you can tuck this up here. It will it will hold, it's a paper clip, so it will hold whatever you wanna tuck under there, right? And then you have your back page, and I just used a little tuck spot and one of the little journaling cards. So you can see you have a lot of room. I chose, a, I think there's 18 pages you know, te technically times four. So you've got quite a few pages in here and it's, she's gonna be a biggie. When I get what, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it mostly a writing journal, but I am gonna add, um, I've got all kinds of, you know, goodies from the kit. I wanna add to it. So I thought maybe we could just hang out together while I do a little bit of decorating, a little bit of chit chat, just kind of hanging out. I thought that would be fun. Um, so you can see me finish this off. I started it, I've been working on it all day. It's come fairly, fairly quickly, a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, so I think I wanted to add a little bit of maybe some lace or, I've already got those on there, but I feel like on these pages I want to add something. So what I thought I might do on these pages is maybe just add, this is a heavier, um, crochet lace and I thought this might work really well now I'm going to check the camera to see if it's light enough in here there are shadows for sure I am going to open the blinds just a little bit hang on a minute while I do that uh it was the light was just crazy and I noticed my video has been very pixely so I don't know if my camera was dirty or um you know if it's just 
I've dropped my camera too many times. It's the camera's on my phone, so it's hard to say, but I'm not sure why I'm having issues with it. So anyway, I thought I would just, let's see, we've gone 15 minutes. Okay, I was trying to remember what time I started my video. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I thought I knew. So, um, oh, before I get going, I wanna share, I got a little, a pretty little happy mail. I like to share my happy mails with you because I figure you might find someone you like. It's called Little Lace Lady, and she makes the be most beautiful tatting. Uh, she makes just gorgeous, gorgeous tatting pieces, and I ordered these from her. They take a little bit to get because she's very busy, and it's very, she, as she says, tatting is time, time, time consuming. But I ordered these for my um, my journals, so um, are my pieces, and these are some of the, the beautiful little pieces she sent me. I could share these with you. I'm looking for the front of this one. Oh, I think that's the front. So these are some of the things she sent. I'm looking for the front and the back. I think that's the front. And so I thought I would share some of what I got from her. Really like it, found her on Instagram. She's a lovely lady. So if you like tatting for your you know, your projects and you're having trouble finding any vintage, you could certainly have this made because it will be vintage, you know what I mean? It's definitely heirloom quality. She does a beautiful, beautiful job. So it takes a bit to get it, but it is well, well, well worth the wait. And it's, it's called Little Lady, Little Lace Lady. Um, let me hold it up. Um, little lace lady on Instagram right here it doesn't want to focus that's unusual see I told you I'm having trouble with my camera I don't know what's going on there but anyway I recommend you check her out if you're interested in that kind of thing I absolutely adore it Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside. I have to put those away so I don't lose them somewhere. Lately, I've been misplacing everything because I'm not in my space. So I don't have a set place for anything. So, hmm. What I thought I would do is add lace to each of these pages. Hmm. I would put some on each page, just lightly overhanging. Not really to stick out, but just to add some dimension so it's not so flat. I kind of feel like, you know, I work so much in lace and pearls and everything that when I work on something that doesn't have a lot of it, I'm like, ooh, sort of lost. <laughs> so I'm definitely a lace girl and I'm not happy unless I'm putting it on everything. But this is a crochet lace. It's heavier. It's very, um, when you look at it up close, that sort of looks like, flowers and things that you would see um, on here. So before we get too far, how are all of you? Are you all good? Things good? Oh, let me find my, there we go. Whew, that's better. Uh, are you all good? I hope you're all well and healthy and things are good in your life. There's no trauma or tragedy. I don't know about you, I've had about all the trauma and tragedy. Oh, I got a gnat attacking me that I can handle. Spent all day yesterday fighting doggone ants in my studio. Can you believe it? My paper crafting studio. Nothing for them to eat, nothing in there, but they just would not leave my room alone. Every time I went in there, they were all over my desk, my iPad. Oh, it's so frustrating. They're just, they're, they're attacking my whole house and I'm just sick of it clean. I mean, I just don't know what the deal is. They, they're, I guess they're looking for food. All right, now that did not stick on there. I'm having some problems here. Let me get a little, let me get a little cloth here. Oh gosh, gosh, my rings are just floating around on my hand me crazy let's see oh hmm this is not sticking to the fabric tech what is that you know i switched from fabric tech to fabric fix and i always loved it but i i'm not finding it to work as well as the fabric tech 
There's a little bit of a difference in the formula, but not a lot, and it shouldn't be a problem. It was the cheapest, it was less expensive and easier to get on Amazon. Oh, this ribbon is really bent up. I'm not too happy about that. Look at that. It's coming off the roll like that. Just a mess. Oh man, look at that. Look at how it's coming off. I'm not happy. Okay, that's just gonna be too difficult to work with. I'm gonna take that off there and I'll deal with that later. That is not a good thing. I'm gonna not use that one. I think I have another one right here. Okay, well, this one might be the same thing. Oh my gosh. Quality control, not there. Okay. okay. Yeah, this one's all wonky too. Look at it's all wonky. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean it's not that I can't use it. It's just gonna be I just don't feel like fighting with it today. I really don't. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut it off right there. I'll fix that and I'll use that on something else, right? Yeah, it's all, it's funny. It's um, it's the newest one of this stuff that I got. I have some older ones in my stash. I think I may pull those out and put this. This new one was a little bit wider, whiter as in white, and a little bit more, um, not as heavy in the crochet, but now I think I know why. It's not great. The quality has gone downhill some more. I hate to complain about stuff like that, but I just... Being a businesswoman and a crafter, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm just frustrated with the quality of what's out there for us to work with. It's just gone. I'd rather stick with the vintage because I just think the quality is there, but it's getting harder and harder to find and get, unfortunately. Listen, this one's really ruffly. There's times I like a little ruffle, but maybe not in this one. Isn't this just the most adorable journal? Oh, it makes such a cute journal, you guys. Post anything else you want to do with it. You can make placemats out of it. I mean, there's just all kinds of fun things you could do with this. You could decorate your house. The pictures are adorable if you like to decorate for fall. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. This is... Ugh. Okay. Okay. I did not do a good job getting that on there. I may have to go find my other bottle of Fabri-Tac and go back to that. I don't like this Fabri-Sex as much. It does, it, um, I don't know. Having one of those days, it's okay guys. I woke up with a nasty migraine this morning and I've been kind of fighting it all day. So probably why I'm a bit off and everything seems more off than normal to me. So what's new with you guys? What are you guys up to? Anything exciting? I know one, I know a couple of, one of you, two of you have family members getting married. I do too. My little niece, congratulations you guys. My niece, uh, Alyssa, is getting married. At the end of the month, I'm super excited for that. Um, although we won't be going to the wedding, but um, she's gonna, she, they just can't afford a big wedding, so it's gonna be limited number. But we'll, we'll do something for them later, maybe. We'll have to see. We all got to get together uh, yeah, for the celebration of life, so it was nice to be with everybody again and to meet her fiance. That was very exciting for us. So let's, I don't know if I want to put that on there. Let's go down here. So one, two, and I think there's a third one, three. So we'll do three more of those. Let's see, it fills it up nicely. It gives it some heft. It hangs out just a little bit. Gives you a little something to look at. Fills it up kind of nicely. Yeah, it just it's just not just flat paper. You know, I think that's what was bothering me. I really wanted to see something else. Okay, now this time I'm gonna glue it on this side. You know what I think I'm gonna do? Oh, here we go again. Look at this, you guys. Ugh. Hmm. Well, my daughter bought a bunch of this too and I'm 
broken. I wonder if she's having the same issue. If she's used it. Um, oh, you guys, it's my phone again. Can you believe it? Every time I do a video, every single time. What is with that? Oh, junk mail probably. Thank you, honey. My husband grabbed it so we wouldn't have to listen to it ring and the phone talk and all that fun stuff. <laughs> uh, we still have a hard line, believe it or not, we do. We still have a hard line and um, I don't know, I think we're gonna get rid of it because really it only rings with, with junk calls. I mean, I rarely get, I did get a call from the doctor's office the other day on there though. I thought that was kind of strange because I never used that number, but I think they couldn't get me on my cell phone, so. I'm in frame here. My head isn't like all over the place. Okay. So anyway, I was saying I know some of you have sons and daughters getting married and I know you're working on journals and getting ready to go on trips. And I know a couple of you have been on, are getting ready to go on your vacations. Oh, oh like I said, I envy you guys. Maybe we'll get to do a trip soon. We were supposed to go to Arizona um, September, October, but now we won't go because we just saw our newest grandbaby. I mean, yes, we could go again, but I don't think we will because they're due to come out. Uh, they're talking about coming out for um, Thanksgiving. I don't know if we'll feel like celebrating Thanksgiving or not. We'll see. It's right at Stephen's birthday and as Thanksgiving and it was also his favorite holiday and he always did our cooking so he always made our turkey well I did it for years and years but he took over he loved 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 making the turkey and I'm not sure we're really gonna feel like celebrating a whole lot so we'll see we'll see what my daughter wants to do but my son is coming to California uh, because his brother-in-law is going to and his wife are cooking for them for Thanksgiving, but he was going to make time to see us. They were going to be out here for about a week. But his, um, his wife's brother, they live down by the coast where we like to stay. So maybe we will just do a beach Thanksgiving this year and go down to the beach to Pismo. He lives down that area. So we're, maybe we'll go to Pismo for Thanksgiving. Who knows? I don't know. Probably the hotel room be outrageously expensive. I have to see have to see I just know I want to get away I'm getting tired of these four walls but we have to get our floors done so well we'll get back to that hopefully we've had to take care of some other things so we're hoping to get back to that I would say the latest next week but that's the goal I think my daughter's coming on Wednesday, which you'll see this on Wednesday, to pack my room. But I'm not sure she's going to be able to do that. We'll see what her schedule is looking like. She had planned on it, but as long as I don't have too bad a hangover from this migraine, we may tackle my studio finally. My big studio, the one I've been dreading packing. Okay, where'd the lid to this go? I know it's here. Oh, yeah, there we go. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that was all on frame. Um, gosh, here we go. See, doesn't that look cute? Got a little ruffle, nothing big, just a little bit on there. Boy, I will say that Fabrifix is immediate. It's, it is on there the minute you put it down. There is no moving it. Oh, okay. That's good to know. All right, there we are. So we've got some, and then I didn't put anything in the middle yet. I have the pumpkins on that side. Maybe I just want one bit right there. But what would we put there? I mean, we could use one of her pieces like it's on the other side. We could make it match. I wonder if we should just make it match the other one. What do we think? I don't know which side's right side up. Oh, that seems like that's upside down. Yeah. Could just put that on there as a tuck spot. As I think that's what I did with this one. I think this is a tuck spot. Yep, this is a tuck spot, look. 
So I'm thinking I could do that on the other side. Maybe we'll do that over here. I do want the corners clipped, so let's do that. Oh, I was supposed to go shopping with my hubby today in Salinas to nearby town to see if we could find my pearls at another Michael's or Joann's or one of those places, not Joann's, um, Hobby Lobby, which I love Hobby Lobby. And honestly, they were, got, had the best selection of crafting items last time we went. I was really happy with everything we got there. Oh, oops. Oopsie. So, yeah, this is not my uh, shabby chic, but this is a beautiful, beautiful pumpkin kit for fall. If you're not into Halloween, but you like your pumpkins, um, or you like fall colors at the fall, um, I for my fall, I'm doing blue, white, and pink. You know, the blue and the white pumpkins like these. Aren't these beautiful? This is from Ornate Splendor. Is this not stunning? Look at this. Beautiful, right? Oh, these are real pumpkin stems that she uses. I or placed this order with her and I am so happy as a birthday present to myself. Uh, I also got the pink one and then I got two of these. I don't know where the other one is, it's around here somewhere. Um, or, no, I only got the one, I think, just the one. So I got that order from her and I'm loving it. Um, she has some other stuff I would like, but I had to restrain myself. <laughs> I would have bought lots, but I got them for my, um, I use, I'll use those pumpkins year round in my studio. When I redo it, I'm going to be adding the blush pink in there. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So I've been kind of collecting bits and pieces of things to put in there. So I'm kind of redecorating it to be a little more shab French shabby chic is what it's going to be. French shabby chic is going to be my studio and probably my um, sewing room too. Both are going to be the same. Okay, so we got a little tuck there. Oh dear. I'm too far away, so I can't see. I thought that was close, but it's not. Let's get that a little ink. I'm not inking the whole thing up, but I've been adding bits and pieces of ink just here and there. I'm not going crazy on the ink. If it kind of calls for it, it's getting it, but I'm not inking the whole, the whole journal. Okay, there we go. So now we have a, another lovely tuck spot. And the only thing I really want to cover is this. This is something, and I could just take one of the papers or one of the, um, like one of these and maybe cover it. Maybe I could go like this and cover that. You still have a writing spot, but it's not bright white. You know what I mean? So let me see. Uh, if I have paper, I mean, if I have my uh, cutter, I could do that with. Hope I don't sound too tired. I'm not so much tired as I am medicated <laughs> for my migraine. <laughs> oh, there are times. I'm not surprised, you know, with everything that's been going on that I have one, so nothing new, nothing new, nothing exciting, just same old, same old. Now, where did I just have that, you guys? Where did that go? It's here, I know it's here. There it is. Well, that's the single. There is a double of that. There it is. I love it with these little goodies on it. I want to see where we need to mark it, and then I'll... So, I had actually had planned to make this video be my flip-flop journal video because it's time for me to finish that and I'm going to work on it on camera with you guys so you can see all the gorgeous goodies I'm going to put in it. Or at least work on it a little bit with you guys. Somebody asked me if I was going to sell it. I don't think I am. I haven't. I have not planned on selling it. Um, I kind of just made it for me. 
at least this one, and then I would decide if I wanted to sell it. I don't really know. I'll see when I'm done. It'll tell me whether it wants to be sold or not, or whether it wants a new home or whether I'm its owner. So we'll see. I really, really love it though. So it's gonna be really hard to part with that one, I'll tell you. And she's a beauty. Oh, yummy. I know you can't see what I'm doing, sorry. I'm just doing that corners. And I will probably, the wrong color, grab the wrong ink. I grabbed a blue one, whoopsie. This one I decided to do because you can see the white edge is pretty good. So that maybe just a little bit. Okay, hopefully I did this right, you guys. Did I? Yes. Yes, yes. Now the tough part will be putting it on there. No, I can't really tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> Had a boo-boo with the printer. Had the printer boo-boo. Usually I use this because you can move it around, but gosh, if I can't move it, I got a problem. This room gives me a weird glare on my glasses because the light's coming in from the side. I cannot wait for my new studio. Oh, Betty dear, thank you, thank you for the recommendation on the trays. I actually fell in love with a little bit different one than the one you picked out for me. But that one was beautiful too. I really was caught between the two. I couldn't decide, I went back and forth. And I'll tell you what decided it was the price. <laughs> I went for the less expensive one. And it will be here sooner than the one you picked out with the gold um, swirls. So Betty picked out some beautiful trays as project trays for me on Amazon and told me, you got to go look at these. So I did, and I fell in love, of course, as she knew I would. So I got them to do, to put my projects on, you know, my, my beautiful projects that I'm using right now. And eh, darn it. Okay, I missed that whole edge. I don't want to try to pull it up, so maybe I'll just trim it down and then re-round the corners. I think I'll do that. It's gonna be easier than trying to pull that all up. I don't need the extra added. Oh, that was crooked. Yikes, that wasn't too bad. So you can see how easy, this journal, I made it in just a couple of hours. It was really easy, quick and easy. It came together so wonderfully. I have to tell you, it's perfect for just, especially for a wonderful little gift. I think you can do it in a day. Not have a big old drawn out project if you don't want one, you know? I mean, of course you can add and add and add and build and put on all kinds of, I mean, I can just add and add to the edges, honestly. I mean, all these little flips can have more stuff added to them. I'm going to... You could add a writing board to this if you felt like it was too fluffy and you couldn't really write well on it. You could definitely add a writing board. Absolutely could do that. Okay. Being that I cut that, now I kind of have to re-ink those corners. Sorry about that. Okay, so there we are. Beautiful, right? Okay, so you don't have just dead white space because this really doesn't call for white space. I mean, that's lighter, but you can definitely write on that very easy with a black pen. Every page is pretty writable. I mean, if you didn't like this, you could cover it up, but you've got a nice pocket there, but it's fun. Anything you didn't like, you could cover. So, like, if you didn't like this, you could take a strip of paper. Like, you could take a strip, say this was printed, and you could cover that. So, just like you just saw me do, covering things is so easy. So, so easy. Um, I'm going to look... This is the other one that I'm not exactly that crazy about. So if I wanted, I could just put like the little yellow dots on there. The green on that side. Yeah, that would go well with this right here. So let's do the yellow dots like we just did. Let me set that to the side. I 
to check my time in a minute. But it's so easy with this kit. I mean, it's got all the journaling cards. It's got tag cards, just everything you could possibly want. So it's going to be pretty, pretty easy for you to um, decorate and make, you know, especially fall. Every, a lot of people really, I love fall, and I wasn't going to do a fall journal. But my daughter asked me if I would do this one for her, so of course I will. There's no way I'd, I'd not do it for her. A little break from my shabby and my vintage and my Victorian and my... Oh, all the other good stuff, the golden age and all the other ones that I do. It's nice to just do have a little break and do something different for a day or so. Super quick, super easy. Just show you what you can do with a little kit. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. If you, Of course, if you don't have digitals, you can do the same project with uh, whatever you have. If you only have scrapbook paper, do a scrapbook paper. Okay, so I just want to do the corners. Let's hope I do a better job putting this one on. Oh, oops, come on now. Come on, get in there. Hand eyes a little lacking. I think I wanna like, I don't want a lot showing if I miss, you know. I don't do a good job. Which it's entirely possible to mess up. I think I probably need to add some more ink to my ink pad. Seems like it's getting a little dry. Tim says keep them lubricated, so I will. Okay, so let's see. Where's the top and the bottom of this? I could do it upside down. Yeah, that'd be upside down, wouldn't it? Okay, let's get it right side up this time. Might be a little bit easier for me to see this time. Yeah, I've got, now I've got quite a bit of paper that doesn't have a whole lot on it, huh? It's kind of gray. I might save that for another project. Who knows what I would do that with that. All right, let's get this. As you can see, I had a misprint here. So, why don't I just print on the back side and glue everything on with it? Oh, I'm a mess here. All right, we'll do our best. Oh, I did a better job this time. Yeah, you do see some white here. But, you know, you can easily stick something right there. You could use a piece of washi. I have a little scrap from... Not quite long enough. It's like just an, like a quarter of an inch short. Ah, let's see. What else have I got? Let's see. Let me see in the washes that I recently, see there's a, these are her washi tapes. Um, ah, let's see, oh, this one's pretty. I could just go down the side, or I could use some real washi. Maybe I'll use some real washi. No, this is real too. It's just, this is from Japan or China washi, whereas, I mean, the, the, the stuff I'm gonna pull out in a minute, and this is just American made, <laughs> that's all. Little different. Okay, so I got some Tim Holtz right here. What have I got? Hmm, I got butterflies. What's in this one? Is this the same? No, there's actually a really cool, great couple cool ones right here. There's a green one. There's a kind of a. Let me try that one. Try that. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta get it all the way up though. Ah. <sighs> Pardon me. All those little corners. Come back here. Stop. <laughs> got it. Got it, got it. Ah! Got it, got it, got it. I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. I know I can. 
I can, I can, said the little train. The little train that could. There we go. Oh, I hope you guys didn't just hear Misty. She is snoring something fierce. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. She lays on the couch behind me at night while we're watching TV and soars, just snores and snores. I mean, she literally saws logs. It is so loud. I have to push on against the back of the couch to wake her up a little bit because she just gets so loud. I can't hear the TV. It's crazy. I thought my husband was the only one who was supposed to snore like that. <laughs> Not the cat, but... Okay, so keep this from coming up. I have been told that all you have to do is burnish Tim Holtz. He says you don't have to use glue. I think he gets very insulted that we add glue. So I won't add any glue. We'll see how it does. All right, so that one's covered. I think we're good to go. Now we just add a few little goodies and she is done. Lovely, right? I'm really liking this. It's just adorable. Okay, let's add some ephemera. Let me. Oh my goodness. There's stuff everywhere. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, I don't think I'm going to use any of that. Put that under there. What about that? I don't think I'm using that. Get that out of the way. Oh, look, you guys, the sun has encroached. Okay, that's going to bug you guys. I already know that because it bugs me when I see it on someone else's channel. Not in a bad way, just, I mean, I know you're going to see it. So let me pull these off. And let me see if I can fix my blinds. Oh, one sec. Guys. This is just crazy. That time of day again. Honestly, um, I pretty much work on projects all day and then film at the end of the day. But I'm wondering if now if I'm going to still be able to do that. So may not be able to. Light is changing, it's fall. Today is the first day we've had under 100. It's actually 70 something outside, maybe 76. Is that too dark, you guys? Let me look. I don't have an extra light. I will have to bring one in here as we're coming into fall. I mean, dark, it's getting dark earlier and earlier every day. So I want to find things to tuck in. So let's cut a few. Now see, they're already printed on the back, so we're good to go there. Let's find a few goodies. See, they're already printed on the back. Let's find a few goodies to put in the pockets and things that we have. And yes, I would also use other um, ephemera if it was my own personal journal or if I wasn't doing, you know, design work for a designer. I usually try to stick with their work. I, I did add a little bit of Tina at Chubby Debbie Duda that she's on the front. And I did add a little chapter one, only because I know my daughter has words and she has definitions. She has all kinds of stuff. But honestly, I have half my stuff packed, so I, I just couldn't get to it. So I, um, you know, I had to use what I could find, right? So that's what I did. Let me put this. These are adorable. Quick and easy, this is on a 65 pound cardstock, so presentation cardstock, so it's great. All I have to do is round the corners and I'm good to go. Now I'll have four beautiful cards that I can put in anywhere. Oh yeah, I wanna do something with those tags in the front pockets. Don't let me forget, you guys yell at me, okay? Lorette, don't forget the tags, don't forget the tags. But... Okay, I'm sure I'll hear you not well I might it's so funny all of a sudden you see a designer you're thinking really hard but you have to realize it was filmed maybe a few days before or somehow we hear you in advance I don't know because all of a sudden I'll go oh yeah I need to do that out of the blue so I am rounding corners using my you know when I first got this I was so intimidated by this punch I didn't use it forever I had it in my stash forever ever and then one day I thought, oh, just give it a try, you know? And I got hooked on it. It's now my absolute favorite tool that I own. I use it so much. I think I'm probably gonna have to get a new one because I think I'm dulling out the little blade. Yeah, see, it doesn't wanna cut.
I love this thing, especially for this little tiny punch. It's amazing. The quarter inch, it's my favorite. I have a bigger one for the big stuff, but I mean, I could use a bigger round. I am getting some trouble getting that. I guess I can do some inking if I'm not really covering it like I should be. Yeah, it's not getting everything. I think I need my half inch round. Because she's already got them rounded and they're not quite the same as the hers, so. All right. I know, is this exciting? Kind of like watching paint dry. I'm trying to be quick. Quick, quick, quick. Quick as a bunny. Quick as a bunny. <laughs> All those lovely corners, right? Oh, I had to get some water, you guys. My mouth's so dry. Mm, sorry about that. All of a sudden, I couldn't swallow. My husband and I are both not feeling that great, so we're hoping we didn't pick something up being around so many people. I was out at so many stores and places that, you know, places of business, like a floral shop and a funeral home and dry cleaners, just all kinds of places, craft stores and restaurants. And, oh, gosh, and I don't go out. So I'm hoping to pick something up, you guys. Keep good thoughts for me. That oh, my husband's not feeling great either. So we're kind of, I just think we're just tired and stressed out. You know, we're trying to de-stress. It's hard when you come down from that. And we really don't want to take on our big project until we're absolutely ready. I mean, this house has been sitting unfinished for two months. It is making me nutty, but or batty, but what's new, right? Sorry, I was inking off camera there. I know you don't really want to watch that, right? You know, I was saying in my last video, how many talented women are out there? It is so amazing to me. I watch, when I can watch videos, I am just floored by the talent out in this creative world that we live in, in our little creative community, and the kindness, um, the caring, the sharing. So many people are going through such a rough time right now for all kinds of different reasons, and... There's also the joys that we get to share and like new babies and weddings and anniversaries and trips and just getting to meet with friends and watching your grandchildren's volleyball games. I mean, those are all just such joys and we get to share those with each other and it's, it's just amazing. So let's see, what can we do with these? Watch, let's find they don't fit, right? <laughs> all right, what have I got? Do I have any pockets? Okay, I have a pocket here. Will these fit? Mm, they do not, you guys. Oh, I thought for sure they would fit in these. Will they fit? Maybe the bigger one. Yeah, see, they'll fit in that one. Let's see. But I, I think I need something a little more bright, like this one. I think I would want maybe a tag or something on that. I'll have to go back and maybe decorate those later, but let's get them in. I don't know if this will fit in here. Let's see. What do we got? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we'll see. Anything fit in here? No. I have smaller ones. There are, see, I do have like this size right here. I do have a couple of these. So put, let me put a little ink on this one and then we'll put it in a pocket. I do the back side too. Give it a little age. So let's put that one. Well, that's the same. So let's see if I can put that in one of these others. Okay, I got that one in there. Do, 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 do. What do we got here? That's all pumpkins too. So I feel like I want something different in there, but would it fit? Yeah, it does. Okay, now I know size. So that doesn't fit there. It doesn't fit. That does fit there, but it's not the one I want there. Um, but I am thinking that on some of these, I could. No, I can't. Ah. No, because it won't fold out. We'll talk about miscalculation. I can cut them down. And I probably, that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably cut some of these down to fit. All right, let's see what have I got in here. Anything else where that will fit? I am thinking one of these would fit back here. Maybe this one. Yep, that fits back there. 
I already got one Amazon order today. I ordered some paper and some pretties. I'm not gonna say what just yet. You'll see those in future journals. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. That's gonna go there. Wait, where'd that other one go? Oh, I guess that was it. This one, yeah. I don't wanna put these there because these are the same as that. Oh, look at that one there. So you have plenty to write on. As you can see, this is gonna be a great, great writing journal. All right, I'm gonna cut, just, I only have to cut one down, I think. I mean, I need to cut more down, but guess what? I really don't need to because just those, and she has these. So, you can see, let me check the time. Make sure I didn't just go way over. Oh, yeah, five minutes. Okay. Wow. I used up more time than I thought. Let me just cut that one down so you can see what I was talking about. If you get a card that doesn't fit, don't think, oh, I can't use that. Yeah, you can. I'm going to cut it off and let's see if that will fit in any of these. Yep. Now it fits. Now it fits. Okay. Now it fits. Yipper pepper. It does fit. Skippy. Okay, let's do our corners again because I, of course I hadn't planned on cutting that down. I only had to cut a little bit of a mushroom off and I'm not a mushroom fan, so meh. No hardship there. All right. Sorry for those of you who like mushrooms. I don't like to eat them and I'm not a fan of looking at them either, so. All right, I'm gonna put this one over here. I kind of want to put something in each of those pages. I'll put this one right here. Oh, that one's tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm going to put that back where I was going to have it. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, I had another idea. Will fit here? Yes. I like that there. All right. But we have these little ones and these little ones to go into pockets and these definitely will fit i absolutely know they will fit and i have printed on the back side so i don't have to do i mean there's barely anything on there but it's not white it's sort of a gray color i'm not sure what color she used for that background gray tan i don't know but great job jolene loving it she started it this when she was sitting with her husband next to his hospital bed at the house. So this was pretty much in the works and ready to go. She just had to get it out there, you guys. So here it is. Keep her mind busy. Not that she doesn't have enough to do, but like I told you girls and guys, we are people that we do best when we're being creative. Helps us deal with things. <sighs> Let's thaw. Mind, body, and spirit rest a bit. While we're using the other side of the brain. Okay, I think I'm running out of time, guys. So, you got the idea. Next time you see this, it will be completed. Um, it will be all done. So, these will definitely fit into any of these tiny little pockets that we have here, as you could see, right? So. This will fit into all of our little pockets that we have. And there's quite a few throughout here. So I'll just go through and fill them up later. But you got it. And then we didn't get to it, but we also have the tags up on the top. So I wanna thank you for coming along and hanging out while I work on this brand new journal. I think it's a really cool, cool journal. Let me show you, let's see, where's our page? Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. So this is the kit that we worked with today. I think it's a great kit. I think you'll love it. Should go pumpkin, colorful, fun, skinny, digital. And yes, yeah, she's a skinny digital. And you can see you can make her quite, quite chubby if you wish. I'm gonna. Oh, I can't even get that on there now. See, I made her chubby enough that my clippy will not work. Okay, I made her chubby. I will have to definitely tie that with something. Um, I'm going to have to figure out what that something's going to be because obviously um, it's not going to be a standard little, I mean, maybe a ribbon or some twine. I don't know. Let's see what we think. Okay, there we go. 
aha there so there we are okay so again it's a jeweled design and um, hopefully if you haven't left it don't because I have to show you one more thing I finished all my tags I didn't get to finish those the other day uh, I gotta stand up and show you I don't know if you could see the sparkles yeah you can so there's one that came up pretty with the rose and the flowers there's that one which I think I showed you before it has a little bit of sparkle as well and then I got the big tags done and this one has a pretty gem on it pink gem very shabby chic and then a pink ribbon Isn't that pretty and then you know they're just plain they're plain they're all plain pink on the back I forgot to show you and then this one and this one has the pretty pearls and this side when I tried to put them on it got all messed up so I just pulled them off and I've added some pearls in a couple of places and a pretty bow and a couple layers of lace so again it's just plain on the back so those are those four um, lace and embossed um, they're all every piece is embossed at the top and so I love how they came out I'm just really in love with them so thank you for hanging out you guys I really really appreciate each and every one of you I hope to see you again in my next video because in my next video I will be doing this with you as you can see look at I've got all the pages cut down I'm ready to go it's time for me to get busy and start decorating and creating all the little bits and pieces that go inside. So oh, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to work on it. And then I have another one right behind it I want to do that I'm so in love with. So here we go. Rock and roll, right? Okay, you guys, I hope to see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses. Love you guys. Bye-bye.